Well, it is a case of an oil deal gone bad. A Spokane businessman shot and killed in his South Hill home. His wife was there and heard the gunshots as her husband, Doug Carlisle, took his last breath. The man behind it all, James Henriksen, who hired the hitman to carry out the murder, learned he will spend the rest of his life in prison. KXY 4 is John Hendricks working for you. He was in the courtroom today. And John, this case ended in quite the bizarre note. Yeah, one that many never saw coming. Hendrickson told the judge when it was his turn to speak how abortion and his charge of murder for hire are the same. He read, read several poems, not once acknowledging what he had done. After all that, Doug Carlisle's wife says the only thing to do now is forgive. She left the federal courtroom knowing this chapter of her life is over. Everyone that knew Doug loved him. Today, Alberta Carlisle is feeling a sense of relief knowing the man who hired a hitman to kill her husband, Doug, will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'd far fear what he has to look forward to in eternity than what he has to look forward to in prison for the rest of his life. It was a dark night in December of 2013 that changed Carlisle's life forever. Timothy Suko broke into her home and shot and killed her husband, Doug. It was devastating and part of my heart was ripped in two. As police investigated the murder, they would learn James Henriksen paid thousands to have Carlisle killed. The men were business partners working on a deal in the Bakken oil fields of North Dakota. That deal went south and Henriksen ordered the killing of Carlisle. In the two years since that night, Alberta Carlisle says it has been tough. But for her kids, grandkids, and the memory of her husband, the only thing to do now is forget. I will rise again. I will live. And I choose life for my family, and I choose forgiveness for their sake, too. After the sentence was handed down, Hendrickson's attorney asked the judge to try and place him in a West Coast prison. The judge said he would not be doing that. Reporting in studio tonight, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.